It is our honor to celebrate the life and ministry of Diane Lamborn as she retires after 27 years as a ministry team leader here at Calvary Church. Diane and her husband, Warren, have been married for 45 years. They first came to Calvary Church in February of 1981 when the church was located on Governor's Avenue in Dover. Having been raised in a pastor's home, Diane has a passion for ministry. It wasn't long after coming to Calvary that she got involved in ministry and has been an active member over the last 40 years. Diane has invested her gifts and calling into serving in Christian education. She was the administrator at Calvary Christian Academy and later became the Christian Education Director at Calvary Church. At one point, she even taught our Pastor Ryan in junior high Sunday school class. Diane has a heart to see individuals grow in their knowledge of God's Word. She loves to teach and see individuals be inspired, enlightened, and connect to the teachings of the Bible. Diane started a women's group called WOW, or otherwise, Women of the Word. This group has grown in numbers over the years and has even expanded to multiple women's groups meeting weekly. Diane also has a heart for single moms. While she's not a single mom herself, her husband did work long hours at Pfeiffer Orchard, where she became responsible to manage her children on her own most days. To care for single moms in our community, Diane orchestrated and organized our first ever Single Moms Day Out in 2015. And we've held this event every year since in support of these women of our community. Diane has made a great impact in her many years of ministry, and she has a faithful commitment to the Lord and the body of Christ. And I am so blessed to know her. When I started here at Calvary as a member, I joined her WOW Women group. And I've got to say, I've never met a group of women more encouraging and loving in my life. She welcomed me in with open arms and treated me like she's known me forever. And during that first few months of me being in her group, my son got really sick. And it was months of going to doctors and in and out for procedures, trying to get to a diagnosis. And Diane, through that entire time, kept checking in on me, praying with me, asking how everything was going, and seeing if I needed anything. And I don't think she'll ever know how much that meant to me. Recently I moved, ended up with some roof issues. <laughs> and um, during that move, I also had my car break down. So to say I was really in a spot would be an, under, an understatement. <laughs> Diane came beside me, she called me up, gave me some resources to reach out to for my roof. I was able to get that taken care of. And without me knowing, she rallied her women together to bring funds to help me buy my new car. So now because of her work and of course the work of other members of the church, I have a new car to get my kids back and forth to school and to get myself back and forth to work. Diane, I hope that this retirement gives you all the time to do every bit that God has called you to do. And we're going to miss seeing you here on our day-to-day -day basis of work, but I know that you are not going to go far and that we are going to see you just as much, if not more. But I pray that you get the rest that you deserve. But I want you to know, Diane, you're going to be missed and we love you.